Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am really excited to announce a new, hopefully regular, feature here on my YouTube channel and that is Fandom Friday, but with tea. Yes, every Friday I will be embracing my nerdiness and exploring fandom inspired and geeky teas. Today I am diving into my, into my OG fandom and that is Harry Potter. So the first book was released in the US in 1998. I would have been 10 years old. And then the last book of the series was released, I think in 2007. So I think that puts me at like 19. I think it was a sophomore in college. Harry Potter was such a big part of my life. I mean, it was literally, it was like literally half my youth, my entire adolescence. Being the nerd that I was and still am, Hermione Granger is my favorite character. She was sort of the first character in a book that made being a girl who appreciates books and cleverness really cool. I had never until I think that moment identified with a character that was in a book. So I'm really excited to start Fandom Friday with a blend that honors my favorite character and that is Hermione's blend from Adagio Tees. This one is one of their fandom blends. It's blended by Mira Sinclair. Hermione's blend is a blend of Puer Chorange, their orange flavored black tea, and their vanilla black tea. And then it's accented with marigold flowers. And the blender's description is Hermione's blend is complex, full-bodied, and bold. It has hints of zesty orange, vanilla, and marigold flowers all wrapped up in Puer Chorange. And when I smell the dry tea, I mean it, it, it really smells like, it really smells like chocolate orange. So Hermione's blend brews up to a nice burnt orange color. And fragrance wise, this is a Puer Bay, so I do smell sort of like straw and some mustiness. I also smell like orange candy, like orange hard candy and vanilla. This is a tea that is growing on me. Not that I disliked it at all when I first sipped it, but Puer, Puer is just one of those teas that I kind of have to to sip a couple of times to to really appreciate it. Sometimes I have to experiment with how I'm steeping it to, to, to get it right. This one was pretty no fuss, which I'm really surprised because my first experience with a Puer from Adagio Teas was not, not good at all. Uh, I don't know, I don't know which one it was, but I just had a plain Puer from Adagio Teas and I personally thought it tasted like the animal stalls at a county fair. Luckily, that flavor is not present in this tea at all. This is, this is a really nice tea. So first off, chocolate and orange is always a winning combination in my book or in my cup. Like I love, I really love the orange flavor in this, but I'm not, I'm not surprised by that because, because Adagio's orange flavored black tea is, is like one of my favorite, just like simple flavored teas. So I'm really digging that. The chocolate notes in this are really, really, really subtle. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't like chocolatey teas, don't write this one off yet because the chocolate isn't like in your face. It's it's not like that really cloying artificial chocolate. It's it's not. As for the Puer, it sort of has a straw-like, musty quality about it that I do typically associate with Puer's, but it's kind of doing this really cool thing with the vanilla that's added to this where when I drink this, it makes me think of how old books smell. Sort of like musty and vanilla. I mean, I actually think that that's a thing. I, I think whatever chemical compound that old book smell is, is, is something that's like really close to vanillin. So whenever I smell old books, I smell, I smell vanilla or like a musty vanilla. And that's what I get from this. So for me, that's really cool because I feel like at Hermione's core, she's books and cleverness. And, and this, this blend, which reminds me of old books, I think just really captures the spirit of Hermione Granger so well. It's not a tea that I ever would have as a staple in my collection, that I would have in my collection year round. I don't even think that it's a tea that I would necessarily buy a big bag of, but I would actually repurchase this sample size tin again when I revisit Hogwarts in September. I reread the series like every year, so I mean, I, I feel like Hermione's blend would be a really fun way to sort of celebrate my reread. So 
that brings me to the end of my first Fandom Friday. Let me know if you're a fan of Harry Potter, who is your favorite Harry Potter character? Obviously mine is Hermione, but I want to know who yours is. And I also am curious, what are some of your favorite fandoms or what are some of the things that you like to geek out over? Let me know in the comment box below. I'm going to try to find some teas that fit your fandoms too, not just mine. So I'd love to hear from you. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you guys again soon, especially next week for my next Fandom Friday. All right, bye.